Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this question is all about fractions with different denominators and also we've got a few mixed numbers thrown in there as well. It says the symbol star means double the first number and then subtract the second number e.g. 5 star 2 equals 8. So if we double the first number so 5 times 2 would be 10 and then subtract the second number, which is a 2, so subtract 2. So 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 subtract 2 is 8. So that's how it works. The star means times 2, then subtract the second number. So let's write this on to the fraction questions. So the first one is going to be times 2, and then take away the second number, which is 3 tenths. Times 2, take away 3 tenths. On the second one... It's going to be times 2 and take away, well, something because we don't know what that missing number is. So we'll put a question mark. And on the third one, it's going to be times 2 take away a half and times 2 take away 3 and 2 fifths. Now let's go back and start working them out. Well, 2 fifths times 2 would be 4 fifths and 4 fifths take away 3 tenths well we'd first of all have to change the 4 fifths into tenths so double both numbers double the 4 and double the 5 you would get 8 tenths and that obviously is an equivalent fraction and then we've got to take away this 3 tenths here so 8 tenths take away 3 tenths would be 5 tenths so the final answer to the first one is 5 tenths or a half because obviously 5 is a half of 10 now on the second one let's see what happens well we start the question with 2 2 times 2 is 4 and then we've got to take away something in this missing box here so that we're left with 2 and a quarter well if you take away one whole one 4 take away 1 would be 3 but we need to get down from 3 down to 2 and a quarter. Now from 3 down to 2 and a quarter, you would need to take away one whole one and 3 quarters. If you think about it, it does work because one whole one and 3 quarters plus two whole ones and a quarter would get you back to the 4 that we started off with. Because 3 quarters plus a quarter is one whole one. So that's four quarters, and one plus two is three. And three and four quarters is like saying three plus an extra whole one, which would be four. And this is the four that we've got here. So the missing number for the second one is one whole one and three quarters. Now this last one is a bit trickier still. We've got three quarters times two. Well, three oranges times two would be six oranges. Three apples times two would be six apples. So three quarters times two would be six quarters and now we've got to take away the second number well take away a half well seeing as we've got six quarters we really need the half in quarters as well well to get a half into quarters you need to double both numbers so double the one would be two and double the two would be four and that would be equivalent fraction in quarters so a half is two quarters so we need to take away two quarters now, if you work that out, 6 quarters take away 2 quarters would be 4 quarters. And 4 quarters is a whole one. So, to cut a long story short, this first bracket here basically simplifies to be a whole one. So, we'll just replace that whole bracket with 1 underneath. We've then got a second star, and remember, the star means double the first number, so times by 2, and then subtract the second number. So we need to subtract 3 and 2 fifths, so subtract 3 and 2 fifths. Well, let's see what we get. Well, if the first bracket was worth 1, 1 times 2, if we work that out, would be 2, and then we need to subtract three and two fifths now this is obviously going to send us into negative numbers because two is smaller than three and two fifths so if we try and take three and two fifths off it we're going to go below zero now the easiest thing to do here 
is to remember something about negative numbers. We'll come back to this question here in a second. Now remember, if 8 take away 3 is 5, if you switch that round, 3 take away 8 is going to be minus 5. And we can use that sort of fact here. So instead of doing 2 take away 3 and 2 fifths, I might do 3 and 2 fifths take away 2 and switch it round. Well, 3 and 2 fifths take away 2 is going to be 1 whole 1 and 2 fifths. So if you switch it back round to the way that we actually want it, 2 take away 3 and 2 fifths, it's just simply going to be minus 1 and 2 fifths. And that is our final answer, negative 1 and 2 fifths. Of course, the other thing you could do is turn the 2 fifths into a decimal, which would be 0 0.4. So it could be negative 1.4.